You can scan your space right into 3D using the iPad LiDAR scanner, but just how accurate is it? Hey there, it's Matt here, and today I'm going to be putting it to the test, the iPad LiDAR scanner versus the tape measure. What kind of accuracy are we talking with this scanner? Uh, we're going to find that out today. Um, what I'm going to be scanning is my kid's playroom that you see here behind me. So um, you can also probably see it's pretty boring right now and I want to spice it up, but I need buy-in from my spouse. So how am I going to do that? Show her a couple options in SketchUp. Um, what kind of accuracy do I need for what I'm going to do? We'll find that out. A couple things you'll need if you're going to be following along. Uh, a LiDAR enabled iPad. Uh, iOS 17 or higher on said iPad, and then also a paid SketchUp subscription so you have access to SketchUp for iPad and the scan to design feature, which is what we're going to be using today to scan. I think that's it, so let's get to scanning. To get the best scan results, I turn on all the lights all the way up, and then I'm also going to move any items that might get in my way. I start in a corner and stand far enough away to see the details around the room. The best scanning motion is up and down in a continuous slow motion like i'm using a big paint roller to paint a fence i continue that all the way around the room back to where i started and hit done all right back to the lab all right so here's the scan i realized i had the settings of scan to design i realized i had this include all the stuff that fills a room i actually had that off which didn't show the little bookshelf thing. So probably I'll need to rescan just to get a more accurate representation to show my wife, but um, I'll flip that back on for now, for next time. Um, and this looks like a pretty continuous thing, but it is a mesh. So if I go to my styles and go down to model settings, I can turn on hidden geometry. You can see what, the, what this model is actually consists of. Uh, so there's a lot of faces in here. Um, I'm actually going to bring this onto desktop to do the test. Just uh, it's a little bit easier for my recording setup. So I'll share this model with myself on Trimble Connect and then open it up on desktop. So here we are back on desktop. Um, I'll get rid of that hidden geometry. Um, what's nice about the, the scan output is that it does give you that mesh that I showed you before. And then there's also this room plan option, which is kind of a simplified output of just the planes of the uh, you know, the floor plane, the ceiling, the walls and doors and stuff. So um, we'll have a couple things to test. And actually off screen, I did go back and also scan, including this uh, bookshelf, including the stuff in the room. Um, before we get to the actual experiment and the measurements, I did want to just kind of show you the ideas that I had that I'm going to try to um, run past the wife. So this was the model that I built based on the tape measure. Um, measurements that I took. So uh, obviously you can tell it's simplified, but the measurements are accurate um, or as accurate as a tape measure as I suppose. Uh, so a couple different things that I wanted to uh, pitch to my wife to make this playroom a little more fun and interesting. The first is dinosaurs. Every little boy likes dinosaurs. Uh, I don't want to speak for everybody, but um, dinos. So these vinyl stickers, I thought, hey, that's kind of an easy win, uh, just spice up the room. But again, if I showed her this, she might be like, well, I don't really get what that would look like in the space. Um, another more elaborate option I had was, was uh, you know, there's this bookshelf over on the left, but I thought, what if we kind of turn that into, uh, into a built-in option here? So, um, you know, this is using the exact measurements, so it would actually fit in there for sure. Uh, room for toys and books and a little reading nook. I don't know, maybe this is a dinosaur egg. It's all thematic with dinosaurs. Everything's dinosaurs. Um, but so these are the the two options that I'm looking to, to show her. So um, uh, let's see. Yes, I have this scan, and then actually I'll show on this scan with the um, with the bookshelf in there. It's a little blobby, sure, but uh, this will get the idea across better than just that white um, plain model. So uh, I'm getting in presentation mode to go to my spouse and say, what are we going to do? So um, supposing I showed her this. Okay. 
get somewhat of an idea of what this looks like uh, with the other, you know, colors in the room, with the actual lighting in there. Um, okay, I don't know if she'd go for this or not, but it's worth a try. And then I also have the the built-in option. I got rid of this bookshelf for this case. As you can see, it's a mesh, so it's not exactly perfect here. I'll give us a little spoiler on the measurements. So, you know, these aren't exactly flat planes. There's some that gets kind of smushed into the walls. So, hey, let's uh, let's get into the, the testing portion. Let's see what is real and what is not. So, all right, so here's my experiment methodology. I'm gonna copy all of these three options, the actual measurements with the tape measure, the first scan, and the second scan into one model. There we go. So I'll take the dimensions of the height, width, and depth of the room in the three different uh, options here, and then we'll see what the what the differences are. So first, the actual. We're gonna do the room plan and the scan version of each one. So actually, I'll just type that in right now. Okay, first up is room plan. So I'll turn the meshes off and the room plan on. And let's get to work. Height, seven foot one and a quarter. Width, 10 foot five and seven eighths. And depth of the room, 18 foot seven and 15 sixteenths. Okay, this is kind of funny. When I wrote down the measurements with the tape measure, I just wrote it in inches and uh, then I converted to feet and inches before I typed it in to make this drawing and uh, yeah I messed up <laughs> the mental math was incorrect so um, this is actually an extra foot back so this measurement is 18 foot nine and a half <laughs> I was like well that's a foot off um, so yeah measure twice even if it's with a lidar scanner Okay, and the second one, seven foot nine sixteenths, 10, seven and seven eighths, 17 foot six and three quarters. Okay, so wow, that one's pretty far off. Yeah, this I wrote down 225 and a half inches for the actual. So yeah, it's 18 foot nine and a half. So this one was only inch and a half off on the, the depth for the room plan. But this one was almost over a foot. Let's go to the scan. Because this is a mesh and we have two of them, I'm just going to take one measurement for each. I'm not going to like try to take a bunch and then take the average of it or anything. Um, I'm just going to grab one measurement of each uh, direction and then call it good. Is it scientific? I don't know. I'm doing it twice, so that's repeatability, right? Anyways, okay. Got to turn on the ceiling to do the height. And as you can see, it's kind of jumping around to a bunch of different points. I'm just going to try to go straight up uh, in the direction 6, 11, and 3 eighths. Ooh, not even close. Oh yeah, that was definitely a lot more accurate than the room plan ones. Anyways, let me keep going. I don't want to get distracted here. 10 foot 5 and 13 sixteenths. 18 foot 9 and 3 eighths. All right, just looking from our initial readings here, this looks like it's significantly more accurate than the room plan accuracy. But let's keep going to our second option. 6, 11, 3 eighths. 10, 5, 11, 16, 17 foot, 9 and a half. Okay, so maybe this scan just, uh, you can see just from the photo textures that it looks like it kind of shifted a little bit. It could have been how I scanned or it could have been 
I don't know how it kind of stitched together after the fact, but it does look like there was some kind of jump in this, in this one. All right, so here are our final results. Uh, is this the best way to display these? Probably not, but um, just looking from these, what I'm taking away is that the a the scan itself, the powered by Canvas, is significantly more accurate than the room plan output. Um, even though it might look cleaner and it might look like it's you know more accurate because it looks like a, you you know you typed in the dimensions. Actually, the uh, the mesh is more accurate. Uh, like some of these room plan ones were off by you know, a couple inches. Um, and especially this, for some reason, this second scan, there was some registration issue or anything. So maybe the takeaway also is scan it a couple times and compare in the space that I was doing. It looked like the, uh, the height was only a quarter inch both times on the scans. So that's pretty impressive. Um, the width varied a little bit more, but still we're talking about like a half an inch here. And, uh, you know, the, the depth of the room pretty close on the one scan, the other one, you know, <laughs> a foot off. So, uh, that would be an issue, but, you know, for my particular use case here, look, I'm just trying to get this across even the built-in, like if I'm going to do this and actually spec out what I need, like at a cut list and, you know, figure out how to actually build this thing. Yeah, I'd need the more accurate measurements of the room. But if I'm just getting given an idea to my wife of like, hey, this is what this is what this would look like. And is this OK to move forward with, you know, either one of these? It depends on what you're doing, whether or not the accuracy that you get from the scan output is good enough. Well, there you have it. That's the result of my experiment. Uh, experiment maybe a strong word test um it's not uh you know your results may vary depending on uh how bright your room is how much light there is if there's any reflective surfaces um the size of the room impacts uh the quality of the scan as well so this is what i got for my room but you might get something else for yours uh give it a test and let me know what you find out is uh you know is there other tips and tricks you have for for making your scan more accurate or are there any use cases where you know you really need accuracy or you don't what was flawed in my test <laughs> let me know um i'm happy to hear it and improve going on in the future that's what the scientific method is all about but um hey if you like this video give us a thumbs up down below hit the like button and uh, don't forget to subscribe too because we have a lot of videos coming out each and every day on youtube and uh, you want to get a notification of those. So, hey, subscribe and ring that notification bell. Uh, anyways, yeah, thanks for watching and uh, we'll catch you next time. Thanks.